Question number 30, the final question on the integrated math 2 practice test for 10 ready TCAP. Uh, we're in subpart 3, so calculators allowed here. A quadratic function is given as 3x squared plus 24x plus 25. Write the vertex form of the equivalent function. Write your answer in the space provided on the answer document. Now, it's in standard form now, so it's in this form. And I want to put it into vertex form. It's helpful if I know what vertex form looks like. So I went ahead and prepared it. You'll notice that the a values are the same, so that part of it is actually pretty easy. So if I'm going to do it in that form, I want to set it up as this. Let me change color here. There we go. Now, to find my, um, and by the way, I'm going to do this algebraically, and I'll show you how to do it on a calculator, which is a really good method to check with, even if you do it algebraically. Um, I'm going to do a list of ABC here really quickly. A would be 3, B would be 24, and C would be 25. To find the axis of symmetry, so this will look something like this. I want to know what the axis of symmetry is. It's like that fold over point that shows you where the, the line of symmetry is. The reason that I want to know that is because the x value of that, uh, the x value of the vertex is on the line of symmetry which is good to know because in vertex form that's what you're looking for. You're looking for HK which is the vertex. So I'm going to do negative B over 2 times A. Negative B is negative 24 2 times A is 2 times 3 negative 24 and 6 so I end up with negative 4 as my uh, x component. So my h value here would be negative 4. To find k, uh, I'm benefiting from the idea that the whole purpose of a, f a function rule or an equation, I should say, is a function of the equation for the graph, is that I can substitute in the value for x that I want and find the matching y value. So when I have this, formula, I'm going to do 3 times negative 4 squared so I have this set up in the way that I want it make sure that you put that negative 4 in parentheses and don't just put times negative 4 because negative 4 in parentheses squared is different than uh, negative 4 squared and if you don't trust that or me saying it because you know who am I then go ahead and type it in yourself and feel free to do that and be see the light of how it happens to be so when I substitute all this in I get y is equal to negative 23 so there you go. Now, the negative 23 goes in easily because I'm going to substitute negative 23 in for x. The only real shakeup is I substitute in negative 4 for h, so it's minus negative 4, so this becomes x plus 4. And there you go. Easy peasy. Let's look at it from a calculator perspective. I wouldn't know before, but I do know now that the window that I have set up for my calculator is probably not big enough. So um, go into the window and try to make it look like it might look. Based on the equation, 25 is the biggest number. So I would make that the minimum and maximum values for x and y in the in original or in your first attempt, and then you can just adjust them so you can see better later. It's just good practice, because if you do it with 10, you won't be able to see anything. So now I'm ready to go in and type in my equation, 3x squared plus 24x plus 25, and I can just graph it. There it is. I can find my vertex very quickly this way. Second trace, and you can find the... It's facing upwards, or it's opening upwards, so this is a minimum value, because it's at the bottom. It'll ask me what the left bound is, and what that means is 
uh, find a point to the left of it so you get this little thing I always think it looks like a spider from old video games so go to the left of that point and the right it's just trying to answer your actual question as opposed to any other curves it might just pick a different one so negative 4 negative 3.9 repeating is good enough in this to be negative 4 and negative 23 just as I stated before. So uh, you get all that in and you forget and you type in x minus 4 squared. Well check your answer if you have a calculator otherwise you're kind of left to your own devices. So if I do 3 times so say I forget that idea and I do this you'll notice it graphed twice which means it's not the same graph so that's not the right one so I can go back in and check uh, just say oh yeah whoops I remember now it's supposed to be like that and it'll draw the first graph for you and then you'll ha you'll see over in the corner it's cycling for time so it's still drawing it but there's only one graph there unless you mess something up amazingly with the second one so just be careful that it looks pretty close it means it drew it right on top of the one you already have so you know that that's the correct answer so it's a good way to check it's a good way to work the problem if you don't have a calculator you can always just use the algebraic method to get there and uh, that's it thanks